Somebody call the law. Somebody call the law. It got to be illegal for me to be so wrong. What up, though? Heist man, the foe talk that talk, ghetto news and opinions, man. I just want to um, go over some stuff we went over Friday on the show. Some of the, um, what do you call it? The ghetto news throughout the week. Don't judge me. This is a Batman shirt. It ain't pink. But I had to, you know, it's, it is pink up here, but it kind of matched the hat. Just want to throw it off a little bit, man. We want to talk about some of this stuff that I've seen throughout the week. This happened, what? Throughout the week. Let's talk about it, man. I got a few minutes to do something. First of all, my co-host ain't with me, Prem Zilla and Charlene. So we just going to put their pictures up, nigga. Like they still here. They ain't here, though. But let's talk about something else. Hold on. Let's see if I hit the right button. I did. I did hit the right button. Cool, cool, cool. All right, let's get into some of the stuff that happened last week or this week. Everybody know what happened with Cat Williams. Everybody been talking about it. Who went on Club Shay Shay? And he did his thing, man, talking about all the comedians and everything that they did, his beefs with prior comedians such as Steve Harvey, um, Cedric the Entertainer, what's my man name, Ricky Smiley, Kevin Hart, I don't can't see that, get you a little bit better, yeah, all of them, you know, he made some numbers, man, he talked a lot of stuff, he said, um, first person he was getting in on was Ricky Smiley about him saying he was going to play the role of Money Mike. Um, which since then Ice Cube and came out and denied it. He said he wasn't ever up for that role or something. He cleared it all up though. And um, yo, that was, that was some that was some allegations. He was saying he said he both Ricky Smiley supposed to be Money Mike and Money Mike supposed to be in this right here, which is the Santa Claus wound up not being true. What else happened? He went and said you're entertained from stealing an old joke, his closing joke, which he did on the Kings of Comedy. He did do that. <clears throat> he talked about that on Club Shay Shay. I'm telling y'all, Steve Harvey, about the hair cake. I heard about this hair cake. I mean, this hair thing he had before then. I heard it from Corey Holcomb, actually, probably about 10 years ago. He said Steve Harvey had a hair cake. He said he used to come up there, they just blew it on his head or something. So I heard that. He went in on Kevin Hart. Y'all heard all this stuff. It's, it, it, it didn't got so bad that Kevin Hart went on ESPN talking about um what's my man name? Cat Williams. He talking about him and it didn't it didn't hit well. It didn't go over too well. You know, he had his homeboys watching the basketball game. And they talking about um Cat Williams. It didn't go over well, but he he tried to, but yo, he made a lot of waves this week. Another person made some waves. This guy right here, Aaron Rodgers. So we're just going to talk about the week, the week stuff that happened last week. If I put this out, I'm putting this out. I might put it out today, Saturday. I might put it out today. Depends. But y'all know what I'm talking about. This right here, I ain't really like this from Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers, he went on the Pat McAfee show. Big shout out to Pat Mac. And he said something like, yo, Jimmy Kimmel don't want that list to come out. Because he was on that Epstein flight log list call, client list or whatever. And yo, Jimmy Kimmel came back and said, yo, dear a ho for the record, I have not met, flown with, visited, nor had any contact whatsoever with Epstein, nor will you find my name on any other list other than the clearly phony nonsense that soft brain wackos like yourself can't seem to distinguish from reality. Your reckless words put my family in danger. Keep it up when we debate the facts further, in court. That's Jimmy Kimmel came out and said that. Yo, big shout out to Jimmy Kimmel for saying that. Um, standing up for himself. If, you, if it's not true, because we don't know. But I don't know. I don't know if it's true or not. But, um, yo. Hey, I don't know. But he, he did put that man family in danger. He could have put that man family in danger by saying that. That's some, some allegations you don't want to come out with, man. Yo, we'll put that on nobody. So, big shout out to him for, you know, clearing that up. Making this statement if it's true or not, don't know, don't know. But mm -mm. what else? Miami. This happened in Miami. The um football player Tyreek Hill. Um, his house caught on fire. When it caught on fire, first thing I thought was like, "Yo, one of his baby mamas did it on some left eye TLC, Andre Rising type stuff." But I don't know. Came out when his kids did it, <clears throat> playing with a lighter. 
upstairs, so mm. might be on child support. Speaking of child support, this story right here, I like this. <coughs> if you get a DUI and murk the parent, you had to pay child support to the child who's been left behind without their parent because of you was drinking and driving. So, yo, y'all might end somebody's life and y'all gonna have to still pay. Go to jail and I pay child support. I like that, man. That's pretty dope. The Epstein list wing. I don't know. I ain't seen the list yet. It came out. A few names came out. People saying Stephen Hawking on the list. People saying Bill Clinton on the list. Um, David Copperfield. Not, not Copperfield, but Copperfield. Supposed to been on this list. It ain't really dropped yet. They saying maybe the 22nd or the 27th is going to really drop. I don't know. I know somebody getting they getting sued right here. This is Star Wash. Star Wash. It's a Star Wars themed car wash. And yo, you can't just be taking nobody's stuff and doing that, man. Look at the, the font. Even come on, man. Y'all got a damn Jedi up here taking notes. Being a client man or whatever. Yo, that's what they did. Look at the wookie. That's crazy, yo. Somebody did that. And they getting sued for that, so. Mm -hmm. This right here, the big pandemic, not pandemic, but pandemonium happened. Everybody was trying to fight for these Stanley Cups and not, and not hockey. And that, and that what they called them one in hockey, the Stanley Cup. These pink Stanley Cups in Target. Um, what's the place? Starbucks. A lot of people been fighting for these and causing pandemonium. So, I don't know. I don't know what's happening there, but that's crazy. The Target, they fighting over cups. I don't know why these cups are. Yeah, they say it right here. So come with me to get these Starbucks Stanley Cups. I don't know, man. I don't know why people's fighting. I'm doing all that for some a thermal, a thermos. Eh, let's not talk about this no more. Ooh, let's talk about this. This was funny to me. Um, big shout out to the damn judge, but yo, whoever didn't help this woman. People just stood there while this happened, man. This is the judge jumper. That's what I call him. He went, Ugh! drive right over that thing right there, man. And, yo, they beat the brakes off that man as they should. But, yo, somebody got fired. They need to be fired for that, yo, for letting that go down the way that went down. Um, He jumped over. I heard he got, like, 13 new charges, too, over that. I want to see the jump one more time. Well, look, you could have been in the NFL playing linebacker somewhere. Mm -hmm. I don't know about this, man. This is down in Miami. This is the 10 foot tall aliens that's been running around Miami Mall. I don't know if y'all heard it, but hey, I heard it. They're saying this it. They said they dispatched over 70 cars, police cars, helicopters shut down the the sky. Well, you, not the, you can't shut the sky down. You know what I mean, though. They um, shut down the air traffic through that area something happened a lot of people saying it's aliens a lot of people saying shut up we don't know what that is but it's something something to something to something but i heard it was this woman right here actually <laughs> i don't know if this real don't nobody want to believe this person my wife and my cousin they didn't believe this was real last night but that's what happened that's all the stuff happened in the news this week man just want to get to you how i seen it a few things just to run over over some stuff that I seen, news, what's in the news, or what ain't in the news, or whatever, whatever, I don't know. Anyway, I go live on the channel every Friday, talk my stuff just like this. But when I go live on Friday, I have my co-host with me, my wife and my cousin. We can really sit down and, you know, talk about the stuff. I like to talk. That's why I call this Talk That Talk. Because that's what I be doing. I be talking that talk. Every Friday right here on this channel. Hit that like button, the comment button, the share button, the subscribe button, the notification bell. All them good buttons you got to hit to get this pimping that I'm putting out when I put it out. And like I said, I go live every Friday at 9 p.m. Come through, join the conversation, and holler at your boy. Heist man the folk. Talk That Talk. Ghetto news and opinions. This is a dangerous group that groups that we're dealing with now. All right. This time, but I'll be back. And sooner than you think. Wherever there's prejudice, ignorance, inequality, I'll be there.